All right, I'm here with Coach Will Austin. Uh, congratulations tonight, Coach. Uh, it was Thank a big you. win, but I know uh, you were talking earlier, the, the stage for tonight's game was really set last week against Spring Arbor. Yeah, um, first of all, I want to introduce Bell. So, Bell, say Little hi cheerleader. to Say hi to Red Hawk Nation. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to do with my hands in the last interview, so I thought I could hold the dog, it might help a wee bit, you know. Um, yeah, massive, massive win, uh, massive, two, two massive wins last weekend uh, up at the Lindsay Wilson Classic against uh, Embry, who's a very strong team. They'll be in contention for, for national championship play this year, and uh, Spring Arbor is obviously the number one team in the country. Uh, we told them before the game it was going to take the, the very best effort we had, and it's, it's kind of funny to say we've been winning a lot of games this year, but we haven't necessarily played our best football um, against Spring Arbor. We put it all together, attacking attacking was very creative, we could have scored a few more goals defensively, it was it was very solid. Uh, so we're delighted to get the win over number one. Um, and tonight they really, uh, the, the challenge we set them was uh, treat every game like you're playing Spring Arbor. Um, don't, don't take a second off and, and I thought we did a, an outstanding job offensively obviously. Uh, scoring, didn't expect to score 12 goals uh, but Maleni, Reid, uh, Miku and, and Rico, the front four, just been on fire and for, for four of them to score. 12 goals in probably within the space of maybe 50 or 60 minutes is, says a lot about them. Um, disappointed to lose the goal at the end. Uh, we, we lost a conference turn, we lost a conference championship last year by, by two goals on the, on the goal difference. So we just, it's kind of strange to be talking uh, negatively after scoring 12, but we've got, we've got to start getting clean sheets. We had four in a row coming into this and disappointed to lose the goal at the end and that's something we've got to clean up before uh, for conference play starts. Yeah. What do you got coming up next, Coach? Uh, we have Campbellsville next weekend, another another uh, Mid South team. Um, so again, we have one one more tune up before uh, before conference starts, and hopefully we can we can put in another good performance and be a bit a bit tighter defensively. I heard uh, your uh, old head coach has been kind of watching uh, some of these reports. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And we're, uh, we're we're very fortunate here. Obviously, uh, one thing I always tell people: uh, the easiest part about my job is I walk into to a dynasty really. I mean 13, 13 years in a row, won national championships obviously started by Coach Cleary um, and it's, it's been fantastic uh, to have him. He's been following our season and encouraging us and encouraging me and we've had some of the national championship players reach out which has been, been really exciting for the girls. Um, and yeah, I was, I was really, really lucky that, that Tyson left the program in great shape. Uh, he's a fantastic coach. Congrats, uh, shout out to, to DJ TJ for his uh, 100th win at the weekend. I think they got a very good result tonight. If, if, the, if the stats are correct, they got a, they got a draw at Kennesaw, uh, and he's he's on track to, to win the most games on in record at that at that school. Um, we always knew he would go, go to NCAA Division One and, and do a fantastic job. Um, like I said, he made my job easy. He he involved me in everything uh, as an assistant, which allowed me to make the transition, which is something I'm trying to I'm, I've learned from him. I'm trying to do with uh, with Coach Jen, and she's done a great job so far. Um, but yeah, he left the program in great shape. You, you see right now uh, the fruits of his labor. He's, a, he's an outstanding recruiter. Uh, he left the, the juniors and seniors we have right now are, are, are on fire. Uh, and those are those are head recruits. So I'm, I'm very fortunate. A lot of times people leave a program and, and take the recruits with them. Uh, but his, his, first, his first conversation he had with me was when he left, he said, we're going to make sure we keep this thing rolling and I want to see you go win a national championship. Um, he had us in, I think he was, we were in two elite eights in a row. Um, all right. We were in two elite eights in a row um, right before he left, and a couple of ball, if a couple of balls break a different way, uh, he could have been in a, in a final four or a final. Um, so last year we were disappointed to go out in the 16. Um, but with the players we have and, and the talent that he left us, uh, combined with a good recruiting class, um, we hope to we hope to do a little bit better this year. Yeah. All right, Coach, once again, 12-1 for the Red Hawks tonight. Congratulations, Thank and you. all the best next week. Head, out, head over there to uh, Campbellsville. Thank you very much. All right.